Hello everyone, happy Friday afternoon. It's Friday at 1 p.m. You know what time that is? Parsha and pairing? Parsha and wine pairing All right, time. with me and David. Jared and David. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope that we're ready to drink some fantastic wine and talk about the Parsha, talk about some other stuff we have going on, some little gimmicks and some prizes and uh, awesome. you know, some Awesome, uh, that sounds like fun. Stuff. So, uh, David. Yeah. Uh, also, remember to use the code PARSHA7 so you can get 7% off on all these PARSHA wines that we're featuring. I Any, will remember. Anything else? Any promos that we have that um, you want to give I a mean, shout out to? There's a lot of stuff going on for Rosh Hashanah, uh, mixed cases, lots of sales going on. Check out the website. A lot of fantastic wine, a lot of stuff in stock, a lot of stuff back in stock, more stuff coming in stock. Like Just order soon. That's the thing. Stuff flies around this time of year, so you definitely want to get your orders in soon. Get whatever it is that you want before it's sold out. All right, that makes you sense. You want to add anything to that? That's good. All right. Also, there's um, we're giving out a free gift with each uh, mixed case, right? Well, let's get to that a little later. We can talk about I'm it later. Sure. That's fine. Guys, okay. stay tuned now. That, yeah, that's that's the hook. <laughs> it's All the right. Cliffhanger. Okay. So this week's parsha, David, as you know, is Kitetse. Right. Which means when you come in, when you go out to war in Hebrew, mm -hmm. and uh, the parsha deals with a lot of uh, different topics, dealing with uh, going out to war, weights and measures, um, uh, civil laws, and um, then a lot of a lot of laws concerning land, and a lot of laws concerning how you um, you know stucca for your fellow uh, people. So one of the pasuks says that when you're gleaning your vineyards and your vines, mm -hmm. you should beat it off um, and let it leave some of it for. Uh, for the proselyte, or for the poor person, or mm -hmm. for the widow, uh, take care of the you know the you know those less uh, uh, privileged in your uh, society. So, but it says um, um, to beat the, the hagafen, hagafen, the avanim, and the um, from the great uh, from the vine, mm -hmm. you know, give it to the poor people. And so, what is a wine that um, can feature very well with that? With with grapes, yeah. I think all the wines we carry. Well, yes, yes, that is true. But is there a certain wine that actually, uh, you hmm. know, is called Hagafen? Hmm. There is. Hmm. There definitely is. There's many Hagafen wines. Actually, we, we even got a new one in this week. It's not that new, but we just, we, it was out for a while. Um, the late Harvest Sauvignon Blanc Hagafen, so that's oh, in stock yes. now. Uh, the late Disgorged uh, Brut Cuvée is coming back. It's, uh, I think it's sitting in our warehouse now. Just got to get updated in the system, but that's going to be available Perfect. So, I gotta yeah, tell. I gotta tell of, customers. I didn't yeah. even know this. I yeah, forgot. all stuff like we're 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 beefing it up. We're we're getting getting the options in that people want and making sure they have the stuff for for Yantif. But uh, Hagafen, yeah, Hagafen so, Winery. So, folks, Hagafen is my there? connection this, for the. You were, you were just there, right? Yeah. So I was just at Hagafen Winery a couple months ago in May. I got to meet uh, Ernie, um, who is a very great guy, the winemaker. He's been doing this since the '70s, and um, hope Ernie can join us. I sent him an email, so. Told them to look at this like uh, when they can awesome. and any input. Um, yeah, Hagafen, a great winery, by the way, folks. It was the first kosher winery in Napa. In the it began in the 1970s. Right, well, I think uh, Bill Clinton once had a Hagafen wine at some dinner or something. They served Hagafen. Yes. I remember that from and back if, in the day. And if you go to the winery, you can see actually Bill Clinton himself, President Clinton, uh, sent him a, a little letter uh, nice. thanking him for the amazing uh, kosher wine. Right. Nice. And so. Um, so if you guys are ever in Napa Valley, please make your way to Hagafen. It's a great winery, great folks. They'll treat you like royalty. They also make great wines. They also have a lot of fun gimmies. Like I have a, this nice little shirt here that says Hagafen. Actually, I wore that um, in honor of drinking Hagafen because I, nice. I really am that corny. But it's also, it's a fun shirt with Albert Einstein on it. Nice. And then I also have this uh, yarmulke here. Look at this. It's a uh, uh, called like wine. Oh, Actually, yeah. this isn't Hagafen, but I'm going to make it Hagafen for this, uh, for this uh, video. It's, uh, all right. You're, you're going uh, with the brand colors here and with the, uh, with the wine. Like, our colors are pretty similar. Yeah. Kosherwine.com. And the nice thing, if you spill this on the shirt, you mm -hmm. won't be able to notice. That is nice. Right? So let's, uh, let's drink this bad boy, see how it's tasting. All right. This is the 2014 Merlot. What we actually have on our site now is 2016, but I tried that at the winery. It's also drinking fantastically. This one's just a little bit more aged. All right. But, and, uh, uh, yeah, see. looking forward to that. Here, let's uh, let's show that label up close yeah. and personal. Very nice. Very and again, Hagafen means the vine in Hebrew. Very apropos. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so... Okay, and this is the Merlot. Machaim. Machaim. I'm gonna savor that a bit on the nose. I know Merlot is not uh, 
you know, so out of the woods yet. It, it, it took a dip, you know, people kind of... Uh, got a bad rep. From sideways. They're from sideways, which and isn't then, fair. Right, no. and then uh, recently, it's, it's been coming back, but I don't think it's back to its old glory days. But it happens to be one of the varietals that I really love. And if you look at uh, French wines in general, the Bordeaux, the big Bordeaux, the, the ones that are famous and, and that, that uh, sell for the, the highest prices, they're all either 100% Merlot or a high percentage of Merlot. So definitely a fantastic grape. I think that, I think that movie was basically a way to, to like pump up uh, California wines because Pinot's And the like, Pinot Noir yeah, in particular. Pinot Noir because it's a you know, West Coast kind Which of wine. It's a fine grape, but it's not fair to, uh, you know, bash Merlot like across the board. And this, I think this is drinking fantastically. I think it's got a nice structure, a great nose, good balance between acidity and tannins. And there's a lot of nice fruits in there. I got a lot of cherries and blackberries and a little bit of currant. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely, you know, because this is 2014, it's had time. First of all, Guffin makes fantastic wines, but you know, as they age, they just get better. And this is definitely benefiting from the extra time in the bottle. Um, yeah, and, and Merlot is complex. It's got a lot of good stuff. You can get, you can get like fruit, you can get spice, you can get, Earthiness, it like really depends on the region uh, and the specific Merlot, but this this is definitely um, heavier on the fruit than the spice and the earthiness. Very nice. It's, it's what do you think, David? Do you think it's, I like uh, it a it's lot? A, I'm going to yeah. take it home after. And Hagafen has a lot of great uh, other great stuff too. Their whites are also fantastic. We did a lot of whites the past couple weeks. I wanted to go back to reds for a little while, but um, the Sauvignon Blanc is one of my favorite whites under uh, twenty bucks. So also you can uh, get that. Great stuff, and uh, the Chardonnay. Um, yeah, Yasha Koaktarni. He's a really great guy, and they have a great operation there. And I really hope he watches this. Yeah, very nice. So, good good choice. Good. Um, really like really like the Algafen wines, and specifically happy mm -hmm. to be trying the Merlot. Um, next week, Jared, what are we, uh, we going to drink? So, next week is Parshat uh, Kitavo, and we are going to be drinking. I actually just realized I don't have it. Here, but I'm going to tell you now, it's the Dalton Canaan Red. Now, there's two uh -huh. Canaans. There was the Canaan, you know, from before that spelled C A N A A N. So I wanted to feature the Dalton Canaan, actually, actually be spelled in Hebrew more K N A N, the non Mabusha one. That will be folk, uh, drinking folks next week. Dalton Canaan, mm -hmm. get it right now so we can. Uh, have it together next week, 7% off, Parsha 7, remember to use the code. And that one, yeah. there's, a, there's a red and a cab, right? There's two? Right. Uh, cannot, right. We just we're, got that around Passover yeah. time. That we're going to do the red, and, and there's a Mabushal and a non mabushal one too, so right. uh, you can keep that in mind, you have an option mm -hmm. for both. Yeah. Awesome, good and stuff. Also, I'd just like to show, in line with our Rosh Hashanah, um, with in line with our Rosh Hashanah sales right now, we also are offering free tote bags for all cases. Check out this nice little tote bag that you can get exclusively here at Kosher. Shout out to Chromotex Productions to put that, that uh, beautiful Shana to Tova from kosherwine.com. And you can stick this, uh, when you bring wine over to people's houses, just stick your wine in it or whatever else you want. Awesome. And also, if you check out our Instagram account, you'll see uh, we got a giveaway going on right now for a free case of Festa. Um, six, it's six bottles of the Festa nice. Moscato and six bottles of the Festa Rosa. Very, pro probably some of our most popular wines. Very festive, very easy, light drinking. Put them in the fridge, chill them, pop them open, and enjoy. You'll get it in time for Yon Tip, so just uh, check out the details on the Instagram page. Um, I'm not sure if it's up on Facebook as well. I believe it is, so check out Facebook as well. Look out for it, you'll see a nice uh, case of Festa in a gift, uh, with a gift bow on top. That's the post you're looking for. Look look for the details, follow instructions, and uh, drink and be merry. All right. Good stuff, Jared, thanks for, uh, I know this was jam-packed, so thanks for getting all the info out there. Guys, live from New, uh, from New York, not even, <laughs> live from, from DC, <laughs> live from coachforwine.com. You see, I've been uh, practicing for a new job. Live from coachwine.com, this is David and Jared wishing you all good jobs and hope to see you next week. Okay, Shabbat Shalom, everyone.